All right, we're starting off laying down. So come down, eyes closed. You can think of kind of scooching shoulder blades underneath your heart. Maybe a nice little bend in your knees to help your low back release. Let's just take a little time to breathe. <sighs> Give yourself a few minutes here just to transition from life off of the mat into mat mode. Okay, really working and using all the tissues and bones in your torso to inhale extremely big, extremely deep breaths in. And we're exhaling as completely and deeply as possible. So we're using all the facets, all the sides of the torso to pull the rib cage and the belly open with the inhale. And we're using all the musculature we can to pull everything to center on the exhale. So pelvic floor, belly, rib cage. Allow your jaw to hang open and your body relax a little more with each breath. And from here, just stretch your arms out long, stretch your legs out long, make yourself into a really big, long shape. And just go ahead and get as long as you can. And then think about drawing your belly button down to the floor. So you'll feel your abs and your core kind of wake up here. Reach it out. So finding a little extra length in your spine. Remember to keep your neck long. So even as your hands reach up overhead, your shoulders always stay away from your ears. And we'll play around with this shape. So see if you could pull your belly button down toward the ground. Maybe put a little bend in your knees and hover your head and shoulders. Maybe you hover your legs too. You can always put your feet back down. But breathing here, long inhale. As you exhale, take up your right arm and your left leg. See if you can tap and inhale to bring it back to a hover. Exhale, left arm, right leg. Inhale, back to a hover. So let's go side to side like this. Exhale, up. Inhale, back. If you need a break, you can drop your head and shoulders. And you can even drop your legs, okay, when you're not using them. So feel free to play around. But let's do a few more rounds like this on either side. So I want you to start to feel a nice warmth building in your core as you draw that belly button down to the ground. You can always put a little bend in the knees if you need to. All right, keep this going. Maybe five more on each side. Four more. Three more. Two more. Now, next time you have an arm and a leg up, hold, breathe right here. If you need to drop your head, arms and legs, go for it, you can do that. If you like the challenge, lift your head and shoulders higher up, slide your hand all the way up to your tippy toe. Hold and breathe. Three more breaths. Two more breaths. I know it's challenging, but you've got this. Last breath. Switch sides. Hold and breathe. You can drop to the floor if you need to. You can lean into this challenge and slide your hand up to the toe. Breathe here. You can do this for three more breaths. 
Only two more breaths. Here's your last one. All right, let all that go. Whew. If you drop your feet, bend your knees and point them up. We'll just take some windshield wipers here. <laughs> and rock out your hips on the floor. Nice warmth in your abs and your core. If you put your hands on your belly, you might be able to feel all that warmth we created. All right, nice work. Next time the knees point up, pause, tuck your hands behind them, and let's rock up and down a few times. So rock it up, roll it down, and see if maybe you wanna try and float a little bit up at the top. Okay, in your boat pose, keeping the spine long, keeping the tailbone pointing at your toes. <laughs> Next time you come up, hold it right there. Okay, a little more core work. So remember, you can drop your feet, you can drop your hands. But spine is long, and it's almost like you're leaning back a little bit so that your abs remain engaged in your boat posture. Tailbone at your toes, okay? Fingertips together if you have your hands free. And we'll twist and tap the floor on one side, come through center, tap the floor on the other side. Keep breathing, inhale, exhale. Side to side. So you can drop your feet, we're gonna keep going. If you want a little more challenge, extend your legs and extend your arms. Make a bigger shape with your hands. Okay, so we'll do maybe 10 more rounds on each side. Breathe, nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Pause where you are, twisted. You have your legs up, you can put the feet down, do what you will. Open your arms wide, look at the back hand. Hold and breathe, extend through your spine. It's okay if your legs are shaking. Okay, come through center, other side, hold and breathe, twist, extend. One more big breath here and let it go. Come on down. Okay, if we point the knees out to one side, we'll come over to hands and knees real quick. So here we are. Let's just get some cat cows to warm up the spine. So grip the mat, pull your heart forward with your inhale. Think of lifting that belly button at the same time. And exhale, push the floor away. So let's take a few like this. Push the floor. Okay, roll your heart forward. Find some sticky places in your spine and your back. That might need a little extra attention. Next time you come through a flat back, let's pause right there. Okay, tuck your toes and hover just your knees off the mat. So hold right here, we're gonna breathe. We're gonna experience this challenge. So keep lifting your belly button up and in, okay? Keep your spine long. So try to move your shoulders down and your heart forward, or your shoulders back, I should say, and your heart forward. Keep those knees hovering. Now I want you to keep them at a hover, but just step one leg back so it's like a plank leg, and then bring it back to hover. Step the other leg back. Bring it back to hover. Nice. Step it back. And hover, keep breathing, back, and hover. Now step one leg back, keep that leg, step the other leg back, you're in a plank, hold and breathe. Push the floor, wrap the elbows inward and lift your belly button. Okay, here's your challenge. Point your heels to the left and slowly lower your hips almost all the way to the floor on the left, but not quite. Bring them back up through center. Heels point to the right. Drop the hips almost to the floor. Inhale through center. Exhale to the left. Inhale center. Exhale to the right. One more time on each side. Left. 
and right. Nice. Come back up through center to your plank and press it back to a downward facing dog. We're going to walk the heels out here. Shake it up. Roll your shoulders. They should be a little bit warm. Your legs too. So make this a really dynamic down dog. Kind of waggle yourself. Roll yourself around. And we'll start to run through some vinyasas and we can make them real spicy or you can make them more gentle if you need to. But I'm just gonna throw some options at you and I want you to just kind of modify and interpret for the vibe of your practice. Okay, but in general, we're gonna get pretty spicy. So here goes. Inhaling here, move your heart forward and find a plank. With your exhale, you can hop it or step it to your hands and fold. Roll on up for your inhale, reach your heart up high. And exhale, drop down into a squat. So drop your hips, think of lifting your heart. Inhale, stay here. Exhale, drop a little lower. Nice, keep that heart up high. Again, inhale here. Exhale, drop a little lower. We're gonna have one more big breath in. And one last big exhale. Nice, inhale here all the way up to standing. Lift your heart. And exhale here, fold it. Halfway up for your inhale. Big fold for your exhale. Palms are down. Hop it or step it back to plank on your inhale. Exhale, halfway down, elbows to ribs. Inhale, back up to a plank. Reach with up with one arm. So just pick a side plank. You can drop the bottom knee if you need to, okay? Exhale to bring it down. Halfway down, elbow plank. Inhale to press it back up to the other side plank. Reach up with the other hand. Feel free to drop the bottom knee. Exhale here, back down to a plank. Again, halfway down, pause, and then go all the way down. Inhaling here for a cobra, point your tailbone down, pull your heart up. And exhale, tuck your toes up and back through plank to down dog. We'll take a couple breaths here and we'll do that again, okay? Notice how your shoulders are feeling, walk it out. Okay, here we go. Inhaling here, find your plank. Exhale to your hands, hop it or step, fold. Inhale, roll it up. Exhale, down into your chair. We're gonna take three full breaths here, okay? So inhaling, exhale, drop lower. Inhale, exhale, drop lower. Try to squeeze your knees together. Again, big breath in. Exhale, drop lower. Nice, up and out on your inhale, lift your heart. Exhale, fold. Halfway up, inhale. Big fold as you exhale. Palms are down, so inhale back to plank. You can hop or step. Let's do that little side plank, mini flow, okay? Exhale to your elbows, so halfway down. Elbows pull into your ribs. Inhale up to a side plank. You can lift the top leg if you want more challenge. Exhale down through your plank, elbows to ribs, halfway down. Inhale up to the other side plank, maybe lift the top leg. Exhale down to your plank, halfway down, pause, and then all the way down. Inhale for your cobra, heart up, tailbone down. Exhale up through plank and down dog. Take a few breaths here. We're gonna do that flow one more time, that little, let's get your joints moving. Everything warming up. Ready? Here we go. Inhaling here, plank. Exhale, half or step forward, fold. Inhale, roll it up. Exhale to your chair. Three breaths here, breathe it in. Drop lower. Inhale, drop lower. One more breath, inhale, drop lower. Inhale to stand, heart up, exhale, fold. Halfway up, inhale, 
Big full out of exhale. Palms are down. Inhale to plank. Exhale, halfway down. Ready for some side planks? Inhale, one side plank. Exhale, plank, halfway down. Other side, inhale, other side plank. Exhale, plank, halfway down. Nice, all the way down. Inhale here, pull your heart up for a cobra. And exhale, find your down dog. Okay, walk it out here. We'll take five or six good breaths here now that we're really warm. And you're really pressing your feet down and back, pulling your hands forward. See if you could find a little extra lift in the center of each palm and also the center of each uh, arch in your foot, okay? And maybe you can walk the fingers an inch forward and get a little longer in your spine. You find a lot of freedom around your ears, like your shoulder blades are almost moving away from each other. All right, so let's get down to brass tacks. <laughs> so let's get the right leg up and out behind. Big breath in here. Exhale here, draw the right knee to your right elbow. So get really close, nice and close. See if you could slide it up to the armpit and we're coming back again. So inhale, right leg up. Okay, exhale this time, pull the knee into your chin, close as you can. Maybe kiss it, Mwah. Inhale, send it back. Exhale here, this time pull the right knee towards your left elbow, pause here. So we're gonna play around with this a little bit. See, you could slide the knee up to your left armpit. It's challenging. Now see if you could seamlessly transfer the right knee over to your right armpit. Push that floor. Can we slide the right knee down to the right wrist? Still hovering. Can we transfer over to the left wrist? Continue to hover. And then finally, all the way up to the left armpit. We just made a little box. Take a breath <laughs> and inhale. Right leg up and out behind. Exhale, drop that right foot between your hands. Boom. Inhaling here, arms all the way up, crescent lunge. Exhaling, back knee touches the floor, tap. The left knee just taps down, okay? Inhale, lift the left knee. Exhale, tap it down. Again, inhale, lift. Exhale, tap. Let's take a few more. Lift and tap. Lift and tap. So keep going. Keep your legs strong. So think of pushing down through the bones, pulling back through the muscles. Okay, next time the knee comes down, just lift it an inch off the floor and hold it right there. Just hovering one inch off the floor. Keep the legs strong, push through your feet, lift in your heart. Nice, one more big breath in right here. As you exhale, lean your body weight forward over your right foot. See if you could push that left leg up into the air. Take a big breath in, left knee rises up in front and we're balancing on the right leg. So if you need to use a wall here or a table, something that you wanna hold on to, feel free to do that. But we are going to do um, some single leg squats. So you can have your arms up here. You can have your hands on your hips, okay? And just try squatting into the right knee and extending it. So if that was hard, put your left toes on the floor and just try it with the left toes down, no problem. If it's easy, extend your left leg. And now I want you to start to play around with how low can you drop into that right knee without letting the left foot touch the floor. That's your challenge. So maybe let's do it five more times. Drop nice and low, and then press back up. Let's four more, okay. Yoga pistol squats, drop low, and then back up. How low can you go? Three, 
and two more. Whoa. One more. How low can you drop? Come halfway up and hold here. Single leg squat. You can put the left toes down, up, extend, but you're holding your single leg squat. Keep breathing. You have 15 more seconds here. Five, four, three, two, and one. Extend that left leg all the way to the back of the mat. Drop it in a lunge. Inhale here, take a big breath in for a crescent lunge. And exhale, all hands down in front. Step it back to down dog. All right, walk it out here. Notice how you feel. And let's take a little vinyasa before we move to the other side. So feel free to skip the vinyasa and take a break if you need that a little more. Inhaling here, heart moves forward. Exhale to your hand, top or step and fold. Inhale, roll it up. Exhale down into your chair. Three full breaths here in your chair squat. Inhale. Exhale, drop lower. Two more, inhale. Maybe look up past your hands. Last breath in. Last exhale. Nice, inhale all the way up, lift your heart. Exhale, fold. Halfway up, inhale. Big exhale, fold. Palms are down, inhale to plank, cop or step. Exhale, halfway down. Inhale, side plank, just like we did before. Exhale, halfway down. Inhale, other side plank. Exhale, halfway down, pause, and then all the way down. Inhale, cobra, maybe an up dog here with floating legs. And exhale, downward facing dog. Let's take five or six breaths here. Maybe close your eyes. Start to push the floor forward with your hands, pull it back with your feet. See if you can spin your heels out of sight. Find that little suction cup feeling in the center of your palm and your arches. All right, are you ready for the other side? Let's do it. So inhaling here, the left leg up and out behind. Exhaling here, pull the left knee to your left elbow. Could you slide it up to the armpit here? Inhale, send it back. Exhale to your nose, see if you can kiss it. Mwah. Inhale, send it back, left leg out. Exhale, pull it towards your right elbow and hold there. So let's see if we could slide it up to the armpit. Left knee up to right armpit. And seamlessly, keep breathing, transfer it to the left armpit. Hold and breathe. Push that floor down. Cave breathing, slide the left knee down to the left wrist. Continue to hover. Hold strong, push the floor over to the right wrist, hover. Active hands, all right, don't stink into your hands. Make them active. And finally, slide the left knee up to the right armpit. One more big breath in. One more big exhale. And inhale, left leg up and out behind. Ah, exhale, left foot down between your hands. Coming up to your crescent lunge. Inhale, bring it up. Exhale, right knee tops the floor. Tap. Inhale, knee is up. Exhale, knee is down. So keep breathing here, okay? We're gonna get your legs really, really warm. <laughs> It's gonna feel great, it's gonna be challenging. So keep your legs strong, keep that downward pressing resistance in your legs, bones and muscles. Okay, next time the knee comes down, hold. Hover it an inch off the floor, breathe right here. Push the floor down, you're hovering. You're lifting your heart as your leg bones push down. 
Still hovering that knee. 15 more seconds. 10. Could you press down into your legs a little more for the last five? Four, three, two, and one. Swim your heart forward. You're gonna push down into your left leg, strong. Come up to standing, right knee rises up in front. Okay, so ready to do some single leg squats on this left leg. Remember at any time, you can touch the wall, you can put the right toes down. So you have options. If you wanna work your shoulders, arms up. If their hands get tired, hands on your hips. But we'll start to squat into the left knee, extend. So I want you to experiment with what's acceptable for your knees and your legs. Okay, always modifying with the right toe down is a great way to make it more gentle. But let's maybe experiment with starting to drop as low as you can and maybe extending in that right leg. Try it maybe five or six more times. How low can you go? <laughs> it can get pretty wobbly, but just embrace that. Embrace the wobbliness of it. Okay. Three more, maybe. Two more. Last one, as low as you can go. And then come up halfway. So your left leg is still squatting. And let's hold and breathe right there in this single leg squat. So use the right toes down if you need. Lift the right leg high if you want to challenge. 15 more seconds. It's okay if the left leg shakes. We got 10. Lift the right leg a little higher, maybe. And five, four, three, two, and one. Send that right toe way out behind you. One last big lunge, big breath in. Crescent lunge and exhale, all hands down in front, back to down dog. All right, walk your heels, take it out. Nice work. Let's take a little vinyasa just to clear the air, shake it off. So inhaling here, find your plank. Exhaling, hop or step to your hands and fold. Roll it up, inhale. Exhale, down into your chair. Three long, slow breaths here, okay? Inhale. Exhale, drop lower. Two more, inhale. Exhale, lower. Last one, inhale. Exhale, lowest. Nice, inhale up. Exhale, fold. Halfway up, inhale. Big exhale, fold. Okay, palms are down. Inhale to plank. Remember our little half, our little side plank flow. Exhale, halfway down. Inhale, side plank. Exhale, halfway down. Inhale, other side plank. Exhale, halfway down. Hold and all the way down. <laughs> Inhale, cobra. And I actually want to hang out here um, on the floor for a little while. So let's take a few cobras. Grip them out with your hands. Inhale, heart pulls forward. Exhale, heart comes down. So maybe close your eyes while you're just taking a few more cobras. And really think of grounding your tailbone and pointing it straight down and pulling, not pushing, your heart upward. So think of trying to pull yourself up over a wall every time your heart goes up. Maybe three more nice cobras using the strength of your back. One more. And then come on down to a cobra that you can hold without your hands. So sustainable cobra. 
Using the strength of your back body here. Super important that we strengthen the back body so that we can stay open in the front. All right, so allow your palms to just float under your shoulders, your elbows point back and together. I don't want the neck really long. So if you point your nose down, you can get really long in the back of your neck. Keep the grounded tailbone, keep your belly button lifting a little bit. Maybe lift your legs and just continue to breathe. <laughs> so you can stay right here if this is quite enough. I'm just gonna give you some uh, suggestions you can play around with. So you can try bending one knee at a time, pointing the toes at the back of your head here, seeing how that feels in each glute and each side of your low back. Okay, if one knee at a time feels great, try both, pointing the toes at the back of your head. And then see if you wanna swim your hands back and maybe start to reach one or two hands for one or two feet. You can do one side. Okay, you can switch sides. Maybe both sides is good. But if you've got a foot in your hand, how about starting to pull the foot back? So really send that foot back. And you might notice yourself rocking a little bit. And that's good. So kick the feet back, pull them in with your hands at the same time. Like you're pushing and pulling on your own self. So feel your back body is really rocking here. Maybe one more big breath. Let all of that go. Whatever kind of back bend you were in just now, come on down. Just rest your head on the floor. And take a few breaths to just soak that up. As you are ready, <laughs> take your time. Hands back underneath your shoulders. We'll press it up to hands and knees from here. Okay, take your hands wide, take your feet wide. And maybe we'll just circle the hips and shoulders out. And we'll start to cool it down. Okay, we had a really nice warm practice. Time to start cooling things down. So bring it back into center, hips under, uh, hips over, knees, hands under shoulders. And with an inhale, push into your left hand, reach up with your right. You're twisting open at your chest. And with your exhale, reach all the way under your left side. See if you can get the right shoulder to come all the way to the floor. Looking up, maybe. And we'll come back up out of this a couple more times. So inhale, push down, lift and twist open your heart. And then exhale, dive and under again. We'll do that one more time. Inhale, push the floor away, twist open. And exhale, dive it back down. So let's hang out here for a little while. Now that your right shoulder is down, you can drop the right side of your head. Maybe you just want to stay right here if this is enough of a twist for you, okay? Make sure to keep your spine long. So intentionally point your tailbone away from your head. And if you want a little more here, you can use the right fingers reaching up. Sorry, those are left. <laughs> You can reach up with your left fingers and open your arms wide, like you're trying to hug the ceiling. Big breath here and your twist. Do your best to keep the tailbone away from the top of your head. Maybe that left arm drops across your back and you can actually grab your right thigh and just kind of use it to deepen your twist. Maybe one more big breath in this gentle or deep inverted twist, wherever you took it. <laughs> and unravel, unwind yourself all the way back to center. Come on back. 
back up to hands and knees is where we'll meet. And we'll just do the other side. So now you're pushing into the right hand, reaching up with the left for a big open chest. And exhaling to dive all the way under that right side, dropping your left shoulder. Inhaling to bring it up. Exhale, bring it down. Remember to keep your spine long. Just one more. Bring it up. Bring it down. And hold here. Drop your head. Point your tailbone away from your head. So you're going to have to kind of keep your hips from kind of moving to the right. Feel how they want to do that. And a little bit to the left. And then maybe you start to open your arms up here like you wanted to hug someone. Maybe even looking up. But move those hips to the left. Okay, open your arms wide here. Like maybe even using the left arm to press down. Come on down as you're ready. Okay, back up to hands and knees. And from here, big toes touching. Okay, you can sit your hips back on your heels. Take your knees wide or together, depending on what feels best. And we're gonna drop the forehead all the way down. Find a child's pose here. Breathe into your back body. Notice all the tissue around and under and between your shoulder blades. And this is where we'll rest. This is our resting posture. So do find that you can completely let go here. You can allow your breath to just run wild. You don't need to control it anymore. <sighs> Let your face and your lips and your jaw be floppy. You notice your body letting go. All tension and effort just drains away breath by breath. Allow your thoughts to just run wild as they will. And just let them do their own thing. You come back every moment back to this moment. So just keep pulling your awareness back. What's happening right now? What do I hear right now? What do I feel right now? Let the past and future just melt away. And please take a few more moments to just cultivate bliss and be present and be still. I'm taking a little extra time just to experience the luxury of doing nothing. So please keep resting just like this for as long as you can. At least five minutes would be ideal. Okay, but this is where I will leave you for our practice today. Thanks so much for joining me and taking good care of yourself.